Hey, Spuddies, Potato Big Whiskey here, and welcome to Let's Play Civilization VI as Rome. So we have some stuff to take care of. It looks like we just got an armory in Adotonia. <clears throat> I could go ahead and pick up an artist guild. That wouldn't be a terrible thing to do. I do kind of want to build more units. I'm going to go ahead and grab the musician's guild instead, because musicians are a little bit harder to generate. And it would be nice to maybe get one of those throughout the game. Although it doesn't seem like there's much of a point in doing that. But I do believe it gives me an extra little bit of culture. Let's go ahead and keep repairing here. Let's repair the walls here. And let's go ahead and repair the monument. Okay, we have this guy here. Let's build a mine. I have a pike and shot on the way to the front line. Okay. Um, not really sure what I can do with you. You have three built charges. I guess I could send you over here to help out this city, and this is what we will do. We'll kill here. Knowledge of steam power has advanced. Okay, we have to deal with this war over here. Let's continue to shoot. I'm going to take rolling barrage. We'll shoot there. We will soon have caravels and explorers. Let's kill this knight. I did lose a crossbowman over here, which is... Mildly upsetting. So I actually think Vilnius is all the way up here. Good God. I don't know how I'm going to get up there. Not without open borders from Poland, who is unlikely to give it to me, and I won't even get there on time. So we're probably going to fail this emergency, which isn't a big deal. Because we mostly used it to get an excuse to go to war with Rome. Uh, what we are going to do... Start attacking down this axis with my troops... Get the surround on the city. We need quite a few. You're going to become a pike and shot. You're going to kill there. I need a couple of pikemen to head over to help down here. I'll send these guys over just to keep this city alive while I fight um, these other cities. So you want you to go there. You can't quite shoot over this. This is on a hill. That's interesting that you can't shoot. You should be able to. So let's get some units in positions of utility. And I need one more melee unit. You're a little bit hurt. There's no farms to pillage on the way. Do I have another bombard over here? I have one here. I'll send two bombards out. I'll send this bombard up this way. Let's get you to shoot this city twice. Slowly whittle down the defenses. Have a crossbowman here. Let's get you in position in defense. You can shoot this city, amazingly. I think it lied to me then. It said you couldn't, but I guess you can. You can't shoot anything right now. You wait there, you wait there. You wait there. You're staying fortified. You're waiting a turn, you're waiting a turn. This cog is healed up. I'm going to keep you there for now. Trade with Rome, it's the most efficient place to trade. Keep trading with Rome. We're a lot of production and food. Let's get you moving. Okay, we have to deal with this front line now. Let's get the city shut off. There's a barb camp up there, which is... interesting. I'm gonna get you to rest there. Looks like we need to deal with this knight. Let's shoot him there. Let's kill with this pike and shot. Let's upgrade you to a bombard. Let's kill there. Let's kill there. Let's kill there. Let's kill there. Let's get you over here and attack there. Okay. All right, things are coming along nicely. You're going to heal up. Let's 
You wait there. You keep exploring for me. So we have a little bit of combat over here to take care of. Let's go ahead and shoot this city. Shoot this guy. I have my four range caravels coming as well. Well, they're three range, but they're four promotions is what I meant to say. We'll put a mine there, that's fine. You are going to take a promotion of double support bonus, even though it doesn't help you. It does get you closer to that promotion that will give you extra movement speed. You're going to heal up there. You're going to heal up here. And we'll go to the next turn. Spain will take a while to kill. But it shouldn't take too long. I do need to start producing more units. It's something I've been neglecting heavily, although infrastructure is really important to me right now because I'm suffering a lot of war weariness from these wars. I'd like a kind of a... not necessarily an extended peace, but a peace would be nice. Let's have a look at the loyalty map mode. Yeah, we can kill, still expand across here once Rome is done doing whatever it's doing, which is a university. How many turns are left? We've got 21 turns left in this era. Okay. Okay, we did lose a unit. It's not the end of the world. Losing a unit every now and again is, is acceptable. Considering the number of units we have, the number of units we've killed, all that sort of stuff. Now, Spain's army has to be getting very, very small indeed. Yeah, it's down to 660 strength. So we should be able to start really... Uh, moving here once we've completely broken down his entire army. France, on the other hand, is going to be a another story. Okay, let's pull you back to heal. Push you forward. Shoot that city. You shouldn't have moved it. You had a shot there. That was a mistake of mine. Can we get this kill? We can. You're going to fortify there. Fortify. Shoot there. Move this forward. You can get this kill. Move that bombard forward. Curious why he can't shoot anything. Not going to question it. We'll pillage there. Move you this way. Move you this way. Move you this way. You're going to keep going this way. You're going to heal up. You're going to move here and start shooting these guys. We have a promotion available now. We finished an armory over here. It's an interesting little uh, aqueduct. Let's send this trade route over to probably one of these newer cities. Palma could use one. I'll send it over to Tortosa. Why don't you just build me a bunch of traders? See, horsemen completed here. These will be useful because they are fast. Let's get ourselves a couple of knights, I think as well, would be a reasonable thing to do. Let's repair that granary, repair that granary. You don't really have anything you can shoot at. I could attack here. Interesting that it says I can attack these guys. I'm not sure why. Get that battering ram over there. In fact, I could do a lot of damage to these walls and get a promotion in the not too distant future if I do that. Okay, I can't leave that city ungarrisoned. Housing in here is a problem. Uh, one that we should be able to solve with a harbor. So I have a six charge builder over here, and we are going to send it over to Vindabona. Go ahead and trade with Rome. See, so yeah, I could do a farm triangle here instead of a cattle thing, and I think I will do the farm triangle. We'll get that started. Harvesting. Go ahead and trade with Rome. Go there. Start getting this around underway. You do have a promotion available. I'm going to wait till you have a little bit less health. OK, 
Kill that guy. Okay, let's shoot this city. Right there. Fortify you. Let's get this horseman to stand here. Let's bring this forward. You really can't reach them. You go there. Shoot that guy. A lot of mountain passes that are tough to deal with. We'll swing you around to the right. I'm going to get you to heal up. You're healed up and ready to move. So I'll start bringing you down this way as well. Spend a turn healing on you. Keep moving you forward. You're going to wait there. That's a good spot, right? Yeah, you pretty much cover my entire front line. You need to wait until you have better range. I'm going to bring you up this way. I'll send one crossbowman east. You wait there. A couple of shots off here. 17 health. Versus the normal 12 health. So it's actually a significant damage boost. You wait there, you wait there. Do you have the heal? You do not have the heal. So let's bring you back over here to heal. Bring you in here. Shoot the city. Shoot the city. Shoot the city. Let's bring our range three guys up. Start peppering away at that city. You wait there, you wait there, you wait there. Keep going. You hit here again. You keep exploring and we'll go to the next turn. There we go. Alrighty. So I think the big war is going to be Persia. That's going to be like the big final war, really. Okay, we have a knight that we need to deal with. I'm thinking I could get a flank on him with this musketman. And slam into him. That'd do the trick. I think. Taking little chunks of damage here and there, as is expected. He's pretty much down to nothing now. I think he is still trying to produce units, it looks like. It's hard to tell. It is hard to tell. Come on. Let me take my turn now, please. Yep, it's the only downside, like, I, I've talked about this a little bit before. The only downside to doing a big map like this with a lot of civilizations is that the turn timers get pretty long. Because there's so many units for the game to calculate. Okay, we're gonna shoot there. We're gonna shoot there. We'll shoot there. Shoot there. Okay, we do want to kill these guys. I'd like to pillage on you. Let's kill there. We cross over. Start bringing these guys forward a bit. You can shoot the city. You can shoot the city. I'm going to get you to fortify. Military engineer, build me a road there, please. That was your main objective. And then we'll get to start. Uh, get started on some work on a... I guess a, uh, another musketman or two wouldn't hurt to uh, start combining them together. I have some pike and shot here. I'll grab that university. Make your way to the front line. What are you guys doing over here? Are you like fortified? You're protecting that city, which is reasonable. You get up there. Go there. Okay, now that city is surrounded. It won't heal anymore. Let's grab that lighthouse. and send this trade route over to... Oh, I guess we could send it over to one of these guys. 
Builder has been completed here. Why don't you go ahead and start producing cogs? That's your main objective, right? The only other thing I would maybe like to get in here is a commercial hook for the extra gold, and I will grab that. And then the only other thing I would like is an entertainment complex. So we'll see how that goes. Let's see, Shrine of the Saint. Your holy sites get plus two gold for each building in the district. National Wonder, only one may copy be built in your empire. Yes, synagogue. Just build these two things because they are national things. Although I'd like the artist guild first. That'll keep that city busy for a while. Repair the synagogue. Very good. Although this city has better production. No, it has worse production, actually. I tell you a lie. I tell you a lie. Go ahead and get the pagoda. Faith purchased the pagoda. Why don't you build the shrine of the saint? Let me don't build it over here. Repair that. Escape on foot. He was killed. But we got the gold, I think. Alrighty. Let's get some movement going. You have a promotion. Let's take incendiaries. That'll make you better against buildings. Trade with Rome. Okay. You fortify there. You wait there. You wait there. You're coming up here to try to deal with this barb camp. Let's keep shooting this city. Uh, let's take bombardment on you now so that you do a little bit more damage. You wait there, you wait there. You heal up. Where is this coming from? I need to chase that scout down. Okay. You're waiting there. Let's shoot this guy. Take that promotion. Okay, we have to kill this knight. So what I'm thinking of doing is swippity swappity. Like a so. You get the blip blop bloppity. Very nice. If we go there, we move you forward, we shoot the city. Take a huge hit out of the city defenses. You have a second shot. You wait there. Get this crossbowman up here. You shoot the city. Get you around here to block off the city. Let's shoot there. You go here. You're healed up. You get moving down. Okay, it looks like I don't need much more units over this way, so... I'll just start filtering around. You down here, you wait there, you wait there, you wait there, you wait there, you're also waiting. Oh, hello, can you pillage, actually? Thank you. 100 gold in the bank. The bank of potato, potato bank, as it might be called. If you are so inclined. Unit needs orders over here. Um, okay. This builder, I believe, was supposed to head over to this city. So there's no way in hell we're liberating Vilnius at this point. Okay, we lost a unit. It was a unit I expected to lose, I think. Yeah, the horsemen. Horsemen are pretty weak at this point, so I don't mind losing them. You don't have a promotion. You're going to kill this guy. You're going to sweep down. Can you shoot him? No, it's hard to maintain this much momentum without losing a unit or two, you know? 
we just have so many units to look after, we have so many decisions to make, and we're fighting so many units too, like, all these things factor into how likely we are to, um, keep our units alive. Also need to start working on this city, with my bombarding, but I want to get this city down to a reasonable health. It is recovering 20 a turn, but we'll have it soon suppressed down to a reasonable level with all this bombardment. And the good news is, not too long after that we'll be able to get frigates. To use our production here, we have a bombard in this place. Let's go ahead and finally grab the university. We'll bring this bombard forward to there. Um, let's start hitting this city properly. Let's kill that guy. Is this a kill? Oh, not quite. This will be, though. There we go. So let's move Reyna here. Reassign Reyna to that new city. That'll keep it loyal for a while. Shoot there, get that kill. Very nice. Um, okay, I need to carefully maneuver. You need to get back to heal. May as well pillage that. You go there. You go this way. You shoot this horseman. You have a promotion. Let's take incendiaries. Let's move you this way. I'd like to kill here. I think I will. Let's shoot that city to prevent it from attacking on my units. Let's push this crossbowman forward and then take garrison because he's standing inside a district. We are going to keep this city. University has been completed here on the front line, more or less. You definitely could use a couple of builders over here, so I'm going to spend some time doing that. Uh, I got a cog here. That's good. You have completed your mission. You are about to be able to build another district, and that will hopefully be actually an entertainment district, not a commercial hub. So let me swap that. Although, I believe I was going to put a Mm, entertainment district like right here. Hmm, maybe that's better. Better in the long term, worse in the short term. Unfortunately, those are the sacrifices that we need to make. Also, I really, really, really need shipyards. Because I have a lot of really good uh, harbors that could benefit a lot from really well designed and put together shipyards. Now, question, do you have a trade route? You don't. Why don't you go ahead and grab yourself a trade route? University, go ahead and just work on that. Slowly, these cities are just slowly building infrastructure. Um, yeah, let's get the Grand Temple in here. We'll get rid of it there. Let's get the monument. You come this way. Alright, so we have to deal with this city now. Let's move all these guys forward forward. You can't attack this turn unless I brought my great general up there. Okay. Can you kill this unit? You can. There we go. It's the sort of stuff I'm looking for. You come down this way, you come down this way as well. Get that kill. Keep hunting down. Okay, uh, I have a pikeman here. I don't think I'm ready to attack that city in melee combat yet. Let's bring these guys up. Let's shoot this guy. Bring my great general up. It's fine, because it opens up the ability to shoot. Uh, basically, the unit thinks it has more movement, and therefore thinks it can shoot because it hasn't moved. It's a pretty simple little exploit uh, to get extra shots off. Okay, I've got 12 turns on this city. Should be able to hold that, no problem. We will be keeping this city. We will be looking for... New orders on this guy. You're going to move there. Would love to pillage. Shoot that city. Bring down its health. Um, let's see. Pillage gold. Can you come here and pillage that trader? Get that little bit of gold. 
Let's bring this pikeman down. I have another couple of shots here. This city should fall pretty quick. Uh, relative to some of these other ones, because I have, you know, lots of units in position and I have it pre, sort of, buttered up for conquest. You have a promotion. I always like Helmsman, it's a very nice one. Plus one movement. And then we will move this trader to the newly acquired city. You are going to build a road here. Thank you. It does cost me a build charge, but it does make a road here, so units that are built here can travel a little bit quicker. Shave a turn off them getting to the front line. We'll continue to trade with Rome. We are down to 42 gold per turn, so we do need to be careful. We're spending all our money very rapidly. And that problem is only going to get worse. You move this way, you can't move. You can move in here, do some damage there. Go there. Bring the great general forward. You get on top of that guy. You kill there. You'll have a pillage next turn if you need it. You can safely leave that city now that we have enough forward cities. We will continue to bombard this city. 16 health. 12 health. 13 health. 10 health. I'm finally going to get you to head back and get promoted into a caravel. Been out there roaming the wild seas for a long time. Okay, do I want to put a lumber mill here or do I want to chop? I think I'm going to put a lumber mill there. Alrighty. Yes, farms. Put a farm triangle there for that city. It's not the best use of those tiles, but eh, it'll do the trick. It'll give me a bit of growth. Efficient use of my land configurations is, is pretty important to me. Sure, 10 gold for spices. That 10 gold is going to come in real handy. Basically gave me 0.3 gold per turn. Okay, we took a hit there. There is a knight inside that town. So what are their next major unit upgrades for the land? I think it's probably going to be cavalry and riflemen. And maybe gatling guns as well. Oof, he really wants peace. It is not going to happen. I'm afraid you have to be totally eradicated. No, I do need to be careful because I've been at war for so goddamn long that my war weariness is now getting horrendous. Look at this war weariness. Oof. I need peace soon. This has been a slow and grinding war, but it is coming to a close soon. City state emergency. Babarusk from Yadviga. Oh, how I would love to have an excuse to go to war with Yedviga, but I do not have the troops to really do anything in that war. God, I'd love to go to war with Yedviga. But technically, it's not in the Roman Empire, this area. From what I remember, the Roman Empire basically runs through kind of the Hungary area. Well, it kind of, it kind of loops down here a little bit underneath these mountains. It comes across, it has most of this area. Um, it extends to Turkey and stuff. I'd have to look up a, I'd have to look up a map properly again, just to make sure I'm, I'm getting that right. So before we make a decision on whether or not we're going to join this emergency, I'm going to go look up a map of the Roman Empire, and I'm going to call that the end of this episode. It's a little bit shorter than usual, but for good reason, uh, because we're going to go double check if we want to do this emergency and kind of think about those sorts of things. So I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying this series. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Remember to leave a like if you want to directly support my channel and remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Also, I just hit 15,000 subscribers, so I'd like to hear what you guys would like me to do to celebrate. I have a couple of ideas, but we'll see what kind of ideas you guys come up with. Maybe you'll do something cooler. Anyway, I love you all very much and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.